Yes, I did it. How's it look? My wife hates it because I shaved too much right here. I don't think I did. I actually think, because uh, I gotta admit, last time I did something like this, my wife didn't like it. I thought it was shorter than this. Like, super short. Like, it was just barely any nubs there. But this time, I got a little bit higher. And I don't know. What do you think? I'm, it's not going to be my normal look. I can promise you that. I do not... Uh, I do not like it super, super short. Mostly just because I like poke myself. I do. I poke myself all the time. It's kind of weird. But uh, I'm actually kind of happy today. Uh, <clears throat> I did... Uh, I did get a lot of sleep, but the reason why I'm happy is because I woke up feeling something oh, that I don't always feel, and that is kind of weird, actually, a sense of accomplishment, and, and most of it was just me going to sleep, like... I think there's times in my, my life that I have to, I have to because I have to take the time out, but I think there's lots of times in my life where I had to literally just reflect and then, you know, um, not saying I'm looking at, you know, all the bad things at all, everything that happened in my life. And uh, I'm, I'm just talking about the things that, um, that I wanted to do that that I think I should have done or, or stuff like that. And uh, I guess just look at that and see how I handled all those situations. And I think I accomplished more than I didn't. I, I can tell you that. I mean, I have, I have accomplished more than I, than I didn't. Um, and one of that is, is, uh, making sure I, I have, you know, the crutch, the, the table stand to hold the TV. Uh, I want to make sure that I have everything that, that I do on a daily basis. Uh, that's work. That's, you know, go home, be a father, uh, dad, husband, blah, 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 all the other stuff. Hopefully, I do it for the most part. Uh, and then, you know, things get better from there or you notice things that are, are trending in a, in a good way. Uh, like, um, heck, I, can't, I have to keep bringing it up because that's the only thing I have to, to relate to. <coughs> my kids, they are my oldest one. I can't really talk about my oldest one because... <clears throat> He's out of the house, so, like, I can't really talk about him because he's, like, already doing everything that the younger kids are, are are going to do, hopefully, in the future, which is, you know, work for a living and pay bills and blah, 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 and be an adult. And that's basically what it is. So, that's what I'm talking about. So, like, I look at my kids being, like, age 10, right? Things that they've been going through, they went, they're going through school, uh, learning life lessons, all that other stuff, right? So, like, all those things that they go through, I take a look at those uh, situations, and then the times that, you know, we either have to be corrected, uh, I don't know, refocused, whatever the case may be. It's not like, like they did something bad. It's just that point where you know that you might have to uh, give your input, and, the, and hopefully your kids respond to it uh, in, in a positive manner or or whatever it is. Um, and, and I think that's one of the things I feel the greatest about, for myself at least, that my kids are are doing or being the things that they want to do because they've already decided consciously, uh, meaning that they have their own self-awareness, they have their own world, they know exactly what's going on. And I have made sure and beat it into them that, that, that you know, that they pay attention to just about everything. 
You know, I tell them, like, literally, like, everything you're going through right now is, all, is only going to happen one time unless it's, you know, the little minimal, minuscule things. But I'm just saying, like, in, in general, in life. So, like, once you get out of school, you're out of school. Like, there's no going back unless you want to go to college and unless you got deep pockets, you know. Going, going back to college, that's pretty expensive. Um. I almost went to college when I was younger, but I didn't have the money for it. So, but anyways, my kids, they know what they want to do. Whether or not it's far-fetched or f for, for me to think, to believe that they're going to be able to do it. So, if I, I mean, I got to say it. My youngest wants to go in the NFL. I tell them, you know, you have to have, you know, alternatives. Because, uh, you know, you are small, short slow and then I don't mean slow like anywhere else I just mean he's slow he's not fast in his movements and his running skills and, and anything else so I mean that's just something that'll uh, eventually you know get uh, progressively better hopefully it depends on him but and then and then also the, the youngest or excuse me uh, the 15 year old Trell just wants to go in the NBA <laughs> <laughs> he literally sat down and told us that's what he wanted to do and uh, and I told him it was like cool that's great uh, and I wasn't like laughing at him or any in any sense but I just you know let him know the same thing about having the uh, fallback so like you still gotta go to school you still gotta do the college thing or, or whatever uh, if that's what you wanna do like I don't honestly care if they wanna go to college my kids could not go to college for for, I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. I care if they set their goals for something and they don't follow through with what they want to do, then that just shows they either need to be uh, recalibrated on, on what they want in life and um, <clears throat> reassess what they what they like and don't like and everything like that. I maybe it might help them out. But, uh, you know, for the most part, I don't really care. But I, I think I've done a great job. I hope that I could do more of that. Not, I'm not just, I, maybe that sounds a little narcissistic, I guess, but I, I feel like it's a good job, a good thing for yourself, for your self-esteem, uh, for where you might be at in your life, uh, lifetime or whatever. Just reflect. Reflect on what you've been through. Reflect on uh, the things that you've gone through and how you've handled it and where you're at now. Hopefully you're in a better place than you were before, but stuff happens, right? Sometimes it's out of your control. But that's why we all have a hand in our own fate. And that is because we can control the things that we can control, which is what I'm saying right now what I'm doing right now, what I'm about to do. Those are the things I can control, right? I can't control some other person coming up to me and, and being uh, really negative, but I can control how I respond to it, right? Super simple, super simple. It's just uh, <clears throat> taking the time and being patient. Um, I'm not always patient. I don't think everyone is. Um, there are certain people who probably are all the time, but that's probably deep-rooted med meditation. I, I'm i not there. I don't think I can sit there and, and do that for a long period of time. But I do try it, though. I do try it for, like, small... Uh, bursts like I don't know 30 seconds to a minute I might build myself up to that I'm not sure I don't think it really for it right now helps but it can help to clear my thoughts if I'm just listening to something else other than the thoughts in my own head which are the things I want to do and I, I keep thinking about them I do some of them but for the most part I am a procrastinator I am that will change in due time, I have patience. Anyways, let me get going.